Hi, my name is Umberto, respiratory technician with sleepplate.com. Today we're gonna to be going over maintaining your CPAP, how often you should order your supplies, and the importance of CPAP hygiene. The first thing you should change on your CPAP is the filter. It should be changed every two weeks due to you not wanting to breathe in any dust mites, allergens, or pet hair. If you wanna find out more about CPAP filters, please click this link up above. So just as important as your CPAP filters is also your water chamber. Your water chamber should be changed every three to six months due to mineral buildup deposits inside the water chamber and also any mold that could build up inside of the water chamber. To extend the life of your water chamber, you should use distilled water. So those are the essential things you should be changing on your CPAP. The next thing is the CPAP tubing. The CPAP tubing is very important that you should change it every three months due to the buildup of humidity inside the tubing, which could cause mold buildup inside the tubing and you do not want to be breathing that in. As a reminder, besides changing the tubing every three months, you should also clean and disinfect it by using one tablespoon of white vinegar and also adding some, a little bit of water inside of the tubing, swishing it back and forth, throwing it out, rinsing it out really, really, really good, and then hanging it upside down to dry. Also, there's a video up above if you want to see more details on how to clean your CPAP tubing. So at the other end of the CPAP tubing is your CPAP mask. A very important component which comes with several different components which need to be replaced periodically. For example, the CPAP cushion needs to be replaced on a monthly basis due to wear and tear getting too soft, not sealing properly, and also hygienic purposes. The CPAP cushions should be cleaned on a daily basis. You should use soap and water, clean it very good, rinse it out, and then let it out to dry. Another key component for your CPAP mask is the headgear, which should be changed every three months due to the Velcro not sticking on its previous location and the cushion getting softer over time, which will make you tighten the headgear a lot more and also causing marks on your face. If your CPAP headgear is still new, look into mask frames. This is essentially a CPAP mask just without the headgear. As a heads up, mask frames could be up there in price. So for some of you, it may make more sense to change the whole entire mask instead of just the mask frame. Last but not least, let's talk about chin straps. Not everybody uses chin straps, but if you're ever suffering from dry mouth or dry throat, you may want to inquire regarding a chin strap. The goal of the chin strap is to keep your mouth closed. That's why it's important you should change it every six months. With cityplay.com, you can subscribe and save on all your CPAP supplies, making it easier for you to get your essentials when you need it the most. We hope that this video helped you understand when and why you should be changing your CPAP supplies. If you found this video helpful, please like, share, and subscribe, and drop a comment down below if you have any questions. My name is Umberto, a respiratory technician with sleepplay.com. Until next time.